This way. Let's go. We almost reached. She's right here, Mom. Come here, Mom. Get up. Get some more. I like this one. Come like this one. This is easy. Here, Mom. Next time, do you want more? And the, and the coolest, the coolest, the coolest is the one over here. Look at this one.
This is the uh, one of the, the ceremonial mount here. Oh man, it's really bright. I'm just trying to use up this film, John. You know what I mean? I'm trying to use up, use up the battery and use up the film. Cool in here, huh? Ow! Oh man. Restored, completely restored. This is, from, I guess, from that scene there in the in the museum, right? Yeah. This is where they would have been, like sitting around. They all had their their seats, yeah. the place, you know, like where they represented. It's like we're on the huh? Yeah, it's evil. Cool. Yeah. We're in the evil tummy. <laughs> we're inside. Yeah. Right we're now. in the evil tummy. We're in the tummy of a whale. Twice a year, the rising sun would shine directly through the entrance, over the fire pit, and illuminate the platform's central seat. Around the chamber, 47 seats are arranged along the walls. Take a look at them. Beginning at the entrance, and proceeding to the platform were the 50 persons who sat in these seats. What was their function in society a thousand years ago? Again, we have physical measurements, but no written record or oral legend remains to fill in the blanks. Or maybe a small piece of the sacred fire was placed before each person in the chamber. Notice that the platform appears to resemble a bird. Depending on your imagination, it has been described as a vulture, eagle, or falcon. Around the eye of the bird is the forked eye symbol, one of a group of distinctive symbols known as the southern cult. 
Archaeologists believe these symbols had religious significance. That this was a place of religious significance makes sense. Most cultures of the world have made their religious buildings something special. Another clue to the chamber's use may be in the only artifact found in it, a pottery vessel. Could this have been a receptacle for the black drink, an emetic beverage used ceremonially by all historic southeastern peoples? The fact that the chamber was destroyed by fire also suggests a ceremonial closing common to historic tribes. But these ideas are conjecture made by archaeologists based upon their interpretation of material items. They're subject to constant study and revision as new evidence is found. Several similar structures were discovered, but none matched the fine construction of this building. While most of the other chambers were constructed one on top of the other, this one stood alone. What made this chamber special? Look at the walls, man. Like or was thatched stuff? These are questions archaeologists in the future will wrestle with. Whatever they find, some facts will remain. Wow, okay. Unless you want to walk over. Okay. Here we're at the temple here. Okay. Um, you lied to my brother? And, oh, it's just some Indian phraseology type thing. Walking up here to the temple now. There's the, the worship house that we just looking out. Walking up on top, I'm on, actually on top of Temple Mountain now. Looking at it. Huh? 
Pardon? Yeah, man. Pretty cool. And there's that one. And there, the ceremonial plaza. This is the funeral mound complex here. Yeah. Here are some of the debris they found here in this funeral mound. You can see the, the famous fucking shell disc. Found just kind of all in the mud there. Layers of spider. Different stages. See that railroad went through here, huh? Big railroad. You gotta walk on the mound. Yeah. John, look here. John, look here. There's a hundred graves in there. Cool. Hundred bodies in there still. Right, that's neat. I wonder how many there was originally, huh? Yeah, look, yeah, fucking sure. 